Extensive preparation goes into the installation of a massive conveyor belt, such as the Continental ST10000 belt in the Chukikamata mine located in Chile. Apart from in-depth knowledge about the process and advanced technology, material is key. That's why, in addition to 46 massive belt reels, high-performance splicing material is also shipped all the way from Bad Blankenberg in Germany to the Atacama Desert. The goal is installing belts on two conveyor systems with a total belt length of about 14 kilometers to convey copper ore from 900 meters below ground level. Those belts are long enough to bridge the distance between Europe and Africa at Gibraltar. Continental's ST10000 is the strongest belt on the market, which makes installing and splicing a unique challenge. A conveyor belt is only as strong as its weakest spot, namely the splice. Therefore, correct installing and splicing is not just relevant for the long-term functionality of the conveyor system, but above all, it is vital for safety. Cutting-edge technology helps deal with the extreme conditions of Chile's Atacama Desert as well as underground mining. Continental meets or exceeds even the strictest of safety standards demanded by local safety regulations as well as all requirements from our customers. Before people get to work, everybody involved undergoes a physical fitness check to make sure they are capable of operating underground as well as in great heights with thin air. The installation and splicing of a conveyor this size is a labour-intensive procedure. To complete the project at Chukikamata Mine in time, the staff works around the clock in shifts of up to 220 people. The splicing procedure takes about 60 hours per splice. This amounts to a giant effort of close to 50 splices in total, which are created over a period of about 125 full days. The first step is preparing the laid-out belt by marking key positions and uncovering its steel cables. A cord stripper device is used to remove the surrounding material from the steel cords. The steel cords are laid out and covered with rubber raw material. Continental uses high-performance materials to provide optimum strength and reliability. This guarantees maximum safety during operation and outperforms usual standards. Heat and pressure are applied to vulcanize the splice. Continental uses a heavy modular press adapted to the requirements of the project. Each individual splice is certified with a splicing protocol. To make sure no foreign objects such as dust or sand compromise quality, splicing is conducted in an overpressured tent creating boundary conditions. Continental's long-standing experience is indispensable for the precision required in a splice this long and complex. The quality of the splices is ensured by continuous monitoring of vulcanization parameters and a final check of physical and geometrical measures. Continental's special splicing technology for the ST10000 creates an unmatched dynamic splice efficiency of 60%. This is significantly above the norm of 45% and even more impressive considering that high dynamic splice efficiency becomes harder to achieve with increasing belt strength. Tests to determine this splice resistance are conducted in line with the DEAN 22110-3 standard using the world's biggest test rig for conveyor belt splices, which is located at the Leibniz University of Hanover in Germany. After vulcanization, the belt is piled. A well-aligned belt can then be pulled in in one go at walking speed. The final splice to make the belt endless is done underground with the help of clumps. After commissioning, the belt is ready to go into permanent operation. Continental personnel observes the start and X-rays the belt for final testing. Continental Cord Protect and Rip Protect were installed as continuous monitoring systems at Chukikamata Mine. From initial conveyor design to installation and ongoing service, Continental provides systems and solutions worldwide from a single source.